Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. I was busy making multiples of these with my um, Stamparatus and I thought I've got to get on here and show you guys how I do this. So I go ahead and I cut out multiples of um, the largest oval, okay? This was pieces all together, but I cut it to make the template out, okay? So um, I cut the I cut a bunch of those and I did it in whisper white and very vanilla. I'm moving on to the very vanilla and I realized I needed to get on camera and show you guys how to do this. So take a piece, just cut it out from where you've cut the stitched framelit out of, okay? So this would be another template. Secure it down with the magnet. Make sure that you get your um, sentiment right in the center, okay? So eyeball it in, okay? Take your cut pieces and now you'll be able to see a little bit of contrast here because of the very vanilla and the whisper white. And you want it to fit in here just like a puzzle because it is. It fits in here perfectly and then your sentiment will line up perfectly and you can go so quickly, okay? Do you see that? Let me bring that up a little closer. Right there. Okay. I see a little space up here, so I'm going to move that just a little bit, see, so that it is like a puzzle piece. Now I'm going to take my momenta, well, first what I'm going to do is take my magnets, and I'm not moving anything. I am just taking the magnets and I'm sliding them to hold down my piece, along with holding down the template, okay? I'm going to ink this up with momenta black ink, bring it over, stamp, and see, it doesn't, it can be a little bit darker there in the middle, okay? <clears throat> so I'm going to ink that up again. And this is why that I wanted to use a Stamparatus. This is a large stamp and a lot of words. And I knew that, now that is beautiful, and the positioning is perfect. Now what you do is you slide your magnets down, releasing your project, but keeping it on your template. Okay, keep it on your template. Let's do another one. You take what, whatever shape that you cut out. You could do circles, squares, whatever shape you cut out. And you put it down, back down into where you cut it out of. Making sure it fits like a puzzle. Nothing overlapping, okay? We've already lined our stamp up, so we don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to ink that up nicely with Memento Black ink. Whoop, whoop, stop. Slide the magnets up onto the project and the template so it holds it both down at the same time. That's already inked up. Bring it over, and there we go. And I do want it just a little darker. So here, we're going to bring it over. And there we go. Let's look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Then slide your magnets. But keeping your template in place. That is key, guys, when you do something like this, is to keep things in place. We'll do one more, and then I'll stop. Okay, so keeping the template in place. We're placing our cutout stitch. You could use a stitch frame, anything. You could use just a square, whatever. This has to fit in here like a puzzle. Bring your magnets down to hold it. You're already lined up from your very first one. This is how, how quick and easy it is with the Stamparatus to go ahead and stamp multiple, multiple projects. This is wonderful, right there. Okay, and we are beautiful. And then raise your magnets. I don't like to touch where the ink is. I like it to dry. So I'm just going to bring that over and then bring in another one. And this is how you do this um, in a very, very fast way, an easy way, a clean way. And um, you can see the, uh, the images are beautiful, are absolutely gorgeous. And though that's how you line things up with the Stamparatus to multiple cut and um, do multiple projects. Thanks for watching. Please go to stampinginthevalley.com. Click on the big blue button and order any and all of your Stampin' Up! products. Happy crafting!